Okay, so what is happening today? Well, we're playing, uh, we're putting together one of these things for the Amiga 500, and I just wanted to note the, um, the time, runtime. You literally can have this running all the time. It is super stable. And this is with the CM4 and with that bridge board there. Now on this side here, how about Pi Zero? There we are. How about an Amiga AGA? Running at full speed with music. So, uh, so I'm just going to pause it for a second and put the camera down. Yeah, so the speed on this thing is awesome. And just so you can get a, see what, a look at what it is, um, it's running a basic X window system. And this is a Pi Zero 2W. And the whole thing, um, the same image can run on any of the 64-bit Pi's right through the Pi 5. Um, but this, as you'll find out, is more than enough. There's a few V-Sync things that I might have to, um, might have to set that. So a bit of tearing, but the frame rate is, is stable. So I remember before on the, on, on the Pi Mega 2, you would have problems with mods playing. Not here. This is a pretty fast paced game. Let's see if you, if you sing on the screen. might just be a V-Sync setting. Yeah, that's... Uh, so yeah, that's that, and uh, if I can escape out of here. So you're actually also, you're also running to give you an idea of how well it's running. Can't seem to escape out of it, but um, get an idea how well it's running. It's um, it's running also at, uh, at 640 by 512, so that's uh, two times upscaled as well. Um, yeah, and this is a Pi Zero 2 down here. So um, it also works on the Pi 3. Fine. Um, I'm going to try a 32-bit version just for. Just for fun, I'll try a 32-bit version on a, uh, on a Pi, um, on a Pi Zero, or a Pi Two.